Welcome to Humankind Release Day bonus content from Patrick the Programmer here. Uh, let me make sure I got this microphone working. Okay, so uh, Humankind Release Day, August 17th, 2021. I'm going to do a bonus edition. Normally I'm streaming Jess. Today, uh, right now, I'm streaming uh, Humankind. We'll see how it works. I have never played Humankind. I've never even started the, uh, the app program, as we used to call them. Uh, so this might end up being a very short stream if it doesn't work. I did uh, purchase and download Humankind last night. Uh, so supposedly it's on the machine. And what I'm going to do is get started on this bonus edition. And we'll take a look at Humankind and run through it. I've got my plan. I have watched uh, several YouTube videos. Uh, so I've got an idea of what I'm going to do. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can, I can get in there and... Um, Take a, take a whack at Humankind, see if it's uh, what I think it is, and uh, see if I enjoy it. Um, so let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is switch over to Steam. Uh, so you can see that I've never played Humankind. Uh, so I'm looking at Humankind down here. And I'm going to... I've just downloaded it. It's, it's in Uncategorized It. I'm going to add it to Strategy. So now it's in Strategy along with uh, Rome Total War and Civilization VI. So there's Humankind. I'll start it up and then I'll change my OBS so that it can pick up Humankind. We'll see how long it takes to, to start up for the first time ever. This is the first time I've ever played Humankind. Uh, this is the first time Humankind has ever run on my machine. Uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We'll see what happens. So I'll start Humankind. And then I will change OBS so that it can grab the Humankind uh, uh, window and we'll see if I can get all that to work and then I'll jump in uh, I've got my plan here oh there is humankind okay nice black screen there uh, which you can't see because I haven't fired it up yet so I'm going to humankind I'm going to window capture and I'm looking at humankind so that's what humankind looks like let me Okay, so now this is the first time Humankind has ever started on my machine. I'm going to quiet the music and see what Humankind has come up with. It's loading. So that looks familiar from the YouTube videos. Let me pop over to my OBS so I can make sure that I'm actually doing something here. Uh, no music from Humankind yet. I will turn the old music back on again. This is the music from uh, Soundtrack by Twitch. Now, Humankind is running up. It looks like everything's getting all excited here again. Bonus edition. From Patrick the Programmer, Humankind release day. Uh, complete noob. I've never played Humankind before. Played uh, Civilization. In fact, I will tell you... You can see that I have a copy of what's called Civilization. It wasn't called Civilization 1 in those days. It was called Civilization because who knew if anybody would ever play that game again. This is back from night. Uh, let's see. System 6 on the... Yeah, 1992. So this game is from 1992. I played a fair amount of Civilization. Civilization 2. Civilization 3. Uh... Not too much, four or five. I played a fair amount of Civilization VI, including a little bit of multiplayer. Uh, let me go over to here. Um, you know what? Let me shrink this so that uh, I'm not over, I'm not hiding anything or nothing's being hidden by my uh, brilliant uh, face and the brilliant uh, plan. Today's plan for today, and then uh, what's going on. So this is my first ever run of Humankind. We'll see what happens there. I'm going to jump in. Um, let me start clicking some buttons here. Ooh, there's some music. I can't tell if you can hear the music or not, because it looks like it turns the music off when you switch out over to OBS. So maybe I can...
change that. Oh, desktop audio. There it is. All right. So, uh, uh, oh, no, wait. That's my uh, Twitch. I will turn off soundtrack. Okay, so I do not need any tutorial. I'm going to switch over the tutorial. The whole part is, the whole point of this is uh, can the new play Humankind? So this is the release day. I've watched YouTube videos. So I will skip the tutorial. What is accessibility? I think I'm good on accessibility for right now. Choose an empire and a color symbol. Uh, let's see, I'm kind of a green sort of a guy. It's a bit lime greenish, but whatever. And uh, wow, a lot of symbols here. Uh, let me find out. Now this is eyes. Okay, he seems... Let's see what I'm doing here. I don't want to spend too much time on the avatar, but I do want to make him uh, dead sexy, like I said. Okay, let me try that. Nose! Lips, mouth, I guess. Small, big, medium. He looks annoyed here. I don't know about that. I want to be annoyed. Outing. How about this? I'll go with a small, small skin. Okay. Freckles. Creature, more freckles, a couple of uh, birth marks. Red nose, the red nose. Let's see, I need a super old dude to match me. Scars. Yeah, that's a lot of scars, man. I mean, you can't, it's tough to survive with that many scars. How about just a few tiny scars? Tiny scars. Now we're looking at hairstyle. Oh yeah, let's see. Okay. Hair. Oh, haircut color, not hair color. It's kind of weird. White. Yeah, he's an old man. Gray. 
kind of buzzing through here real quick just to see what uh, what they've got here. A beard. what's going on. He knows what's going on. Save, rotate, back. There we go. Oils play. So here I am right there. Again, bonus edition. Okay, so uh, my avatar, sexy. I think I pretty much nailed that. That is one sexy dude there. Um, let me go back and start playing the game. Custom army game. Let's play. See what happens. Again, never played this game. Uh, I've watched some YouTube videos on it. I'm interested to see on the least day what sort of things I can do. Society of nomadic hunter-gatherers living in, con in temporary settlements. Right, we'll see what happens once this thing loads. See how long it takes to load first time. Not too bad. It's been about a minute so far. soundtrack because when I switched out Humankind didn't pick up on the fact that I switched out so switched out of Humankind over to OBS uh, Humankind didn't pick up on the fact that I'd left because it's kind of hanging but we shall see oh okay so now it knows Humankind knows that it's awake and it knows that it's not in the foreground so it turns the audio off um so there's got to be a setting to change the audio so that uh you can um, you can hear it when you're in uh, OBS, but uh, most of the time I won't be in OBS, so there's that. Still cranking away. It's been uh, I would say maybe three minutes. First start, three minutes. Uh, so you saw me fire up Steam. You saw me move uh, humankind from the un uncategorized into strategy, and then I started humankind for the first time. Fairly quickly popped me into an avatar selection screen. I selected my avatar, uh, kind of a big doughy old guy is what I ended up with. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. Presumably, once I get to the play screen, it'll ask me uh, what kind of game I want to play. And then hopefully there'll be some way to set some settings so that I can uh, 
play around with the uh, audio and other things. So again, maybe four minutes so far for the first start. Uh, not horrible. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to Then, over time, the amino acids bond together, Bands and things together, start to like get tribe interesting, of amino acids. and a bit drier. Ooh. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The okay. hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. Everybody's happy. They learn to tan the skins of animals yes. for clothing. Skins they volunteer learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Okay. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. Neolithic. This Moon tribe stone. has come far, but the Moon rest stone. of their story so we're gonna is go your in, story. See what happens. You are the one who will build them Me. into Let's a great go. civilization. This game? No scenes How more. far will you push humankind? Push. Sounds kind of weird. So Across we the world, oh. nascent societies are taking a deep born. breath, looking across the landscape and preparing for greatness. Um, okay, so they didn't let me pick what type of game I wanted to play. I find that rather annoying. Maybe I missed something. Open the encyclopedia, open up, open the game menu, there we go. Game options. Okay, this is all locked for some reason. Settings, okay, full screen window. 1920 by 1080. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Here we go. Let's go with that. Oops. Okay. I clicked the wrong button, and now humankind is... There we go. Uh, yes. Confirm my changes. There we go. Full screen window. 256 by 140. Quality level good. Sure. Well, we've most of these lock cursor, simplified army, enable FPS lock maximum at 90. Fair enough. Audio sound is on. The volumes are at 100. I can turn that down if I want to. Mute game, mute sound when game is in background. I want to turn that off. Music interval duration. Uh, I think I want the music to keep going. Headphone moan. Don't know what that means. Stereo activate unit voices. Sure. Gameplay, auto saves, 10 saves, uh, once per turn. That seems a little, I'll go every five turns. Auto focus on next available army, sure. Battle animation speed, let's speed it up a little bit. Now nah, let's leave it alone. Turn the narrator on, Gregorian calendar, Pope Gregory, you gotta love the guy. Tutorials off, edge panning speed, epic overlay. I do not have, have this from the Epic Game Store, UI, English. Turn the subtitles on. Ooh, tool, tool tips. Okay, so that's what I'm getting right now. If I turn that down to zero, they pop up all the time. That's kind of annoying. Let's see, what's the maximum? Half a second? That seems a little better for me. Battle view, what is that? Display special terrain rendering in battles. Select to reorder. Don't know what that is. Enable mandatories. Yes, I do want that on. Mouse and keyboard, accessibility. Okay. Now I'm going back to the game menu. And I want to... Ooh, that looks really nice. I want to start a new game so I can get all these uh, settings correctly. There we go. That's me. There's my avatar. 
I don't remember being on this screen before, but maybe maybe I have. Maybe I'm, let's go to OBS. So you should still be hearing the sound. Okay, so I think the sound is coming through. The sound's not going to cut out when I switch over to OBS just to make sure what's going on. Again, I've never played this before, so I don't really have an OBS uh, uh, scene set up for this guy. I'm just throwing him onto this, uh, filling the uh, map, on the, uh, the humankind uh, game window onto the uh, this, this area here. I had planned on... So what I'm what I'm trying to do is play. Let's I've got the avatar set up, so that's number six. I'm going to try to auto resolve most of the battles, and I've got these other things set up. I'll talk a little bit more about them in a second, but I'm doing that so I can get through the game, and see what's going on. This is again my first ever run of Humankind. This is release day. I've seen YouTube videos. settings are okay so I'm going to play a new game uh, competitors let's see okay so I want the world to be small that is four players okay so the normal map is 99 by or 100 by 55 this is a little bit smaller not super small so four players we'll stick with four players Let's just leave most of this alone. And percentage, three continents. Okay, so four players and three continents. There's a un undiscovered continent out there, so I don't know if that's part of the three continent. I don't know if there are four continents, three of which are occupied, or if there are three continents, two of which are occupied. I'm not exactly sure what they're telling me. I've got some islands. I'm assuming that I can sail from island to island and maybe find a new continent. Spheres on a smaller map. That might be a little over overkill. So I'll leave these alone for right now. Uh, nothing in particular that I want to worry about on this uh, pace. I want to speed it up a little bit. The normal pace is 300 turns. The fast pace is 150. Maybe not get done with that today, but uh, the blitz is 75. That's just way too fast. In conditions default, so you can go in and set up how you want to do that. I'm going to leave most of that stuff alone. Difficulty, I'm going to turn it down one. Uh, I've heard on YouTube, which is never incorrect about anything, that Metropolis is uh, no bonuses on either side, and the town gives uh, some bonuses to the human, to me. I'm just going to leave it at that for I'm going to turn, turn it down to town just so I can play a little bit and see what's going on. I don't have any particular map. Uh, this is a good This is a bonus edition of Patrick Weigel's uh, Patrick the Programmer. Patrick the Programmer, normally I stream chess, I'm streaming Humankind. This is a release day stream from a guy who has never played Humankind, never played any of the betas. I played Humankind, haven't played any of the betas, uh, watched YouTube videos on the deal, on the Humankind. So my plan for today is to try to hit as many things uh, as I possibly can. So you saw me set it up on a small our universe contains infinite stories. The race begins. There we go. A new world, a new history, untold possibilities. There is so much to see, to do, to learn. Or, depending on one's preferences, 
to destroy. Yeah, we might have to just. So I don't know what map focus means. Okay, so if I get notified of something and I click and I open that notification, then it'll it'll take me there. Uh, so this looks pretty good. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, looks really good. So how do you move around? Okay, that's the left click. Okay, so I can't spin around, I don't think. Yeah, maybe I should have played the tutorial, but I'm too smart for that. Show and hide the tile off of the food. There we go. Show and hide a hexagonal grid. Put that off for now. Open the help layer. Okay. Open the Human Kind Encyclopedia. Let's see what's going on on the Human Kind Encyclopedia. Seems like it hasn't been written yet. There we go. Welcome to humankind. Well, I'm not in the ancient era. I'm in the Neolithic area. Religion, eras, and cultures. Okay, so probably it would be a good idea to read through this uh, and play the tutorial. But if I was a smart guy, I wouldn't be here right now. So uh, what I want to do here, if I understand this correctly, here are my three other opponents. Here's me on this... Oh, there we go. Oh. Hey. Is that me? Oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, so this is me. I'm way in the north. So let's see if there's any ice up there. Yeah, there's some ice right there. Coastal water, sea ice. Stone field. Forest. Rary. That seems reasonable. I. Uh, okay, so I think the idea is to get Aristars. Um, my plan on Aristars is you get the minimum number of Aristars and just pop over to the next uh, next age. I think in general, if I was playing the game, I would try to accumulate more Air Era stars because that gives you some long-lasting bonuses that that uh, apparently. Uh, last into the next, the, the rest of the game. So I think in general I would be playing uh, that way. Uh, I'm going to be pick cultures more or less at random. Uh, and when I get a choice to go on civics, I'm going to pick whatever takes me to the middle of whatever gets me closer to the middle of the civics. Civics. Uh, it looks like each one of the civics, based on the videos that I've seen, each one of the civics moves. Uh, various uh, sliders or markers uh, to the left and right. So I'm just going to try to stay in the middle. Um, that way, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the developers of Humankind have a preference for various uh, types of civilizations. Um, so, but that way, rather than trying to figure out what Humankind developers want, I could, I could just pick whatever's in the middle. Okay. So as near as I can tell, I've got a hunting party, strength of 11. I've got four movement buttons. Use this button, then that looks like a left click. Okay, right clicking on a free trial will order your army to move there. So I can move. Use this button. Oh, so I click on this. Mm -hmm. Auto Explorer, nope, nope, nope. Skip. Wait, make him wait there. Claim, ter ooh, claim territory. Okay, so I've got a tribe. So this is me. I think this is everything right here. So what I want to do is if I can get 10 food, I get another unit, it looks like. I think if I get another unit, I could send those guys out... Uh, Searching, so I think in the in the Neolithic area, I'm going to focus on exploring, see what's going on. Uh, so rather than uh, combine all of my units together and go out and trying to beat up uh, woolly mammoths, uh, I'm going to spread everybody around and see if I can find stuff. So based on what I saw on YouTube, um, you can either try to kill woolly mammoths or scout around. So.
Okay, so it looks like I can ransack. Right, so let me, let me select these guys. Oh, I've done that. And then let me move them. This looks like it's... Uh, can't tell how easy it is to get over that error right there. Maybe if you get up higher, you can see more stuff. So I'm going to have to decide, do I want to walk this way along the shore because it's easier? Or head up here? I said I'll take one move. One turn or one move? Okay, one, two, three. One. I think I want to climb up here and see what's going on. Okay, so I climb up. But I don't climb up there. Why am I not climbing up there? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, so it's only moving me one uh, one hex per turn until I tell. Okay, so I'm out of actions. I can't do anything. I don't have anybody else to move. I'm going to end my turn and see what happens here. Oh, what is this? Unknown strategic resource. So again, I can't tell if climbing up on here allowed me to see more. I don't really see anything more off to the north. Let's see if I'm doing something silly. Okay, so what I want to do, I think I want to go here. But I'm going I'm to go one at a time for right now. Ooh. Oh, this looks nice. This looks like a uh, Yellowstone. What is this thing here? What does say? Oh, Hot Springs. Barrel Terrain, Hot Springs, Industry Science, and Vision Range. Oh. Plus one to Vision Range. Okay, this, okay, here we go. This has got a dry grass, plus one to Vision Range. So I'm going to take my guys and move them right here. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. Okay, so I got one science and five fame. I think that's fame, if I understand things correctly. Acknowledge. Okay, so I'm acknowledging that. Whoa. Okay, so um, ba -ba -ba, there's a big mountain here. Let's see, can I move on to mountains? The answer is no, I cannot. Uh, I see something over here, silver, and I see unknown and a sanctuary. Plenty to sack. So it sounds like I want to sack things so that I can get food. So I'm going to head this way. So I've got... This unknown strategic resource, this unknown strategic resource, and then some food, which I think will allow me to get another try. So to everybody who's listening, the answer is... Uh, I'm sure to play the tutorial, so I can't really see beyond here. I don't know if I can turn this thing around. Settings, mouse and keyboard. Move camera up, move camera down, right, left, zoom. Okay, so I can up, down, right, left, out, in. Oh, rotate, there it is, E and Q, all right? Uh, okay, uh, resume. Ah, there we go. Okay, whoa. So it slicks back on here. Okay, so, um... I think I'm going to pop over to the unknown. Just I'm just uh, scouting around, so it will probably be quicker to go to the sanctuary, and then split in. If I get enough people to get another tribe, I could send another tribe down here, and then I could stay up here. Maybe go around this big mountain range. Let me go here. And stay. Wait, so I'm done. I'm out of actions. I think I'm in my second turn. I get four more act. Oh, so here's an elk. What is that? Animals. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from that from right now. So I'm gonna move here, and I have found Uh, how do I figure out what, what's in here? Is it 
dummy. Oh, here, here okay. Huh. So I thought there was going to be a uh, unknown strategic resource here. I don't see industry vision range, industry vision range. I don't see how to figure out what to ransack. Can I ransack? Sack that there's no valid target. So I am going to go over to. Okay, so cut me the Lancet. Okay, back to move around mode. So I want to go here and then ransack, I think. Got one turn left, but I'm going to ransack. Together! Confirm the tile to ransack. This one right here. Ransacking. Um, so maybe I get my bonus after I. after the turn is over? So I should have should have done the tutorial because I can't figure out what it's trying to get me to do here. The ransack. Confirm the tile to ransack. So this looks like if I'm reading this correctly, I'll get 20 food. Yes. Okay, I'm clicking. It does not seem to be. Confirm the tile to ransack. So what do I do, intern here? Oh, okay. So, uh, I ransacked, as near as I can tell, I earned a growth star, repopulation, because I ransacked a place that had plenty food in it, and that gave me two more people, more units. And I've got an Aerostar. It looks like I've got 100 fame. Puts me in second place. Wanted to, I could jump around and try to find four more of those curiosity things. I found one of them over here. Uh, or I could fight three units. But I decided on my plan for... Air stars was to get the minimum air stars and go on to the next next uh, phase of the game, next uh, era, I guess they call them. He's trying to tell me something. The world of flame in the distance, a thin cord of smoke rolls up in clear blue skies. better city defense research costs, so I don't really care. There's all this stuff here. I don't have any cities or outposts. Okay, that was probably a bad idea. Oh. Ransack successful. Okay, somebody else found Halong Bay. I thought 
they had like a, a screen of the civics. I'm just going to this extinguish. And now pick a culture for the next era. Okay, so I said I was going to do that rather than run around and try to find four more. So there's one more of these uh, science thingies. I don't see any more science thingies on here. I, I went to the strategic resource, but I couldn't find out what's going on. Maybe I don't have the technology to, to dig it for it. Now I, okay, so I'm not, this one, apparently I can tell what silver is, but I can't tell what, who knows what that is, uranium? I don't know. This says 20. I already got that. So normally, I mean, if I was playing the game to min-max, I would probably split my three guys up, send one of them up here, to get this second star, uh, send the other two uh, in opposite directions. So I'd send one over here, uh, down this way, south, and the other one southeast or east southeast over to this silk. See if I could find more, more of these. Uh, what are they called? Discoveries. But I think just so I can go ahead, I am going to pick a culture. And let's see. So somebody took the Harappans. Uh, I said I was going to pick by uh, the cultures randomly. Uh, but what I kind of mean by that is I want to pick ones that are different. So this guy here is considered a expansionist. This guy here is considered scientist. This guy here is considered uh, builder. So I'll just pick one of these at random. Okay, so I've got uh, somebody picked the Harappans already, which was a agrarian. So somebody's trying to uh, make food. So instead of thinking about what's going on, I see I've got uh, one, or Assyrians, Babylonians, Egyptians, Hittites, Mycenaeans, Nubians, Olmecs, Phoenicians, Zao, what is that, nine? Uh, so I'll just pick the one I'm least familiar with. That would probably be the Zao. And these guys are aesthetes. Okay, influence or diplomacy. So, uh, and they're, okay. So I'm going to pick them just because I don't know too much about them. Harmonious thought. I like harmonious thought. I've got, uh, okay, my, this is my, okay, so this is my bonus. I think this is the district that I can build, which gives me science and science per adjacent mountain. So I will probably try to build, just looking at this, I'll probably try to build a city near some mountains. And fortunately, I got a whole bunch of mountains there. Can be built once per territory. This thing here is a unit. So I'm going to confirm this. And I think I'm out of the nomadic era. I think I'm out of the Oman. Out of the, how do I get to the next era? Okay, so uh, let's. Okay, so these guys have four, four, four. I suppose I might as well move. Let me split up. How do you split up now? Let's put up. Name's army. Okay. Toggling this will allow you to click on units in the army to select a subgroup of them. You can hold left control while clicking on a unit to add it to the selection. Holding left shift. Okay. So I want to take this guy and move them over to here. Onwards. Okay, that seemed to work. So far, the UI I'm fairly happy with. Now this guy, 
I want to take that one guy and move them over to here. I think I will go this air. I'll take this route. So that I can see if there's anything down here. Oh yeah, there it is. So I see one of these. I've got two. And then this guy. I'm going to send him down to... Here. Okay. Strategically, maybe a bad idea. Who knows? Hunting party. Okay, so now it's going to allow me to end my turn. Or it uh, recommends that I end my turn. Because I have no more moves left on my turn. I think I should end up in... Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. Ancient civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets. And markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Perhaps you don't really need to focus on markets when you have deep philosophers and dangerous chariots. Okay, that sounds like a hint to me. I think they're hinting to me something. Okay, so clearly I'm in the ancient era, so... Um, I'm not sure how I get stars. I guess I'll find out. you to do you mm -hmm. dumbass yeah that's what I want you to do run around like idiots I want you to move Jeez. okay so uh, we'll role play that as uh, the person in charge of that unit me was a complete idiot so I'll move one yes. I'll move it here one tile here. Okay. Oh. There's uh, a border. I think that would be a border. So over here, there's something going on. So I'm going to go try to find out what the deal is with that person. Come over here. Okay, so they've got one more. I can't go down a cliff, but yes, I can sir. go down a hillside. Is that what they're telling me? Okay, so he's... Same down here. I've got a lot of industry. If I build here, I'm next to two mountains, and I've got a bunch of industry and some food. So I think I'm going to build something here. So, stop doing that. So I'm going to move this guy. I'm going to move him over here. Just to see what's going on over there.
Okay, so apparently I've got more things left to do. And let's see what this thing says here. Okay. So what sorts of things do I have left to do? I moved everybody? Oh, have I moved these guys? That's my guy, right? It's an animal? Oh, that's an animal. Okay, so here's my guy. He's got no movement points left. Here's another guy. He's got no movement points left. Here's another guy. No movement points left. I'm going to end my turn. Got a new notification. And that is... Somebody did something. What did they say? Mycenaeans. I knew that already. Three idle armies. Okay, so I want to. I think I want to build a city right here. So maybe I build that with armies. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Claim territory. Found an outpost in any neutral territory. Consumes all of my movement points. Explore a little bit more. Next to my new city. Over this way. Oh, hello. So here might be. Well, yeah. So I, I can't build in there. There's going to be one, two, three, four mountains, but there's no. There's no food there. So he's got one more unit. I have to be at the place where I'm going to build the city or not, but uh, I'll try that. Okay, so he's got one left. Okay. Right click on a valid tile to claim the territory. Oops. Okay, so I found an outpost. I guess that's a good thing. And. Okay, so I moved the mouse and it won't tell me what's going on here. Barbarians discovered. Oh, bar Barisians. You discovered the breathtaking Barisian Mountains. So where are those? Those are right here. Must be green? Oh, so I'm green. Okay, so I'm green. So since I claimed that territory, it's turning this uh border into green. Yikes, that's a pretty weird border. Let's see where my territory goes. That is a convoluted piece of territory, but hopefully I can build a city here. So I don't know if I want if I want to claim more territory or not. Okay, so I need to go to my next army, which I happen to know is here, but there's got to be some key that takes me to my next army. Let me... Uh, settings. Mouse and keyboard. Ooh. Uh, Empire screen. One, two, alt three. Three, 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 three. Okay, so I want to go, go to... Okay, next army. So N or P. And also the numbers one through five. Let me play around with that. Zoom. If I go to N, it goes to this guy. Oh, he's creating an outpost. Okay, and then the previous... That does not seem to be working here. This guy has got some turn there. So anyway, let me hit one. Oh, here we go. I have... I can get stars. I think I can get stars by earning these things. And then if I fill one of these, if I get three stars, I don't know. Oh, 
Ergo, collect seven stars by fulfilling goals related to arrow stars. So I need seven stars. I don't know if I need one from each. No, whatever. Competitive deeds. All right, let's see what competitive deeds I can do. Brain spotter. Colony maps continents. I did not know that. figure out what all this means later, so, uh, blah, 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 so I need stars, I need, um, so if I need to get a aesthete star, how do I do that? Expansion is stars. I own three three territories. Builder stars, six districts. Agrarian stars, twelve pop. Militarist stars, destroy three military units. Science, obtain four technologies, and earn some money. Okay, so this says aesthete. Empires receive more fame when earning aesthete era stars. So here's my unique district, my unique unit, and how do I earn aesthete stars? He wondered. Oh, reach a total of 300 influence. Current value zero. Okay. Come on, dude. Wake up. So let me get out of here. That was one. So let me get two. Oops, I did that already. Let me get three. Ah. So this will take me an infinite number of turns to learn these things here. So I'll worry about that later. Four. Okay, so uh, let's see. I've got this guy. Like there's a, uh, another person. So I think I want to find that other person. Let's see what they're up to. So they probably all. Um, I don't know. Let's go here. And I want to. Okay, so the borders actually follow the. Uh, So now I'm out of my turns. So I'll have to figure out exactly what's going on, but maybe it was the forest and the river. Three movement points to follow, so I can just follow this river around. Okay, base movement costs two. So I was here, it cost me two. And climbing up here apparently cost me two more. So I think I'm done. Kind of interested in going to forests. By building an outpost, Yikes. claiming territory is this easy. The trick, of course, is keeping it. Okay, that seemed, uh, on the surface, that seemed helpful, but uh, when you dig down into it, maybe not too much. Okay, so I've got one district, which is the outpost. Share projects, projects that go on district. Okay, interesting. So I've got uh, zero population. Ten fortification, one district, and one territory. Oh, I've got a little note here. The nomadic tribe. 
reached, I think they mean a nomadic tribe who's not you, reached the ancient area with the Hittites. Okay, welcome. Welcome. I think there are three people in addition to me, three other tribes. It sounds like that's two of them. So these are all locked. Somebody took the Hittites. Who are... Oh, this is the classical era. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, I still have zero fame points, as near as I can tell. Zero stars. So I have to get... 300 influence or three tier. Wait, it says I have zero cities, zero territories attached to any city. So do I have a city or an outpost? See, people, if I had done the, uh, this is an outpost. Oh, here we go. Evolve your outpost into a city. Evolve your outpost into a city. Once completed, you will be able to do interesting stuff. Evolve your outpost into city. Your first outpost can evolve. Well, that sounds like I'm going to do that. Okay, I got a city. It's called Hejun. Hejun. So that's good. I now have a city. So now if I go here, it should say... Ah, one, yeah, okay. Own three, tor three territories attached to any city. I have one territory attached to a city. And do I get anything for that? I don't see any stars. Okay, Aujain, you are my, okay, so what is this? This tells you about Haojin. Oh, cool, so I've, lots well, of interesting stuff. I probably, probably would be helpful if I knew what the hell that meant. Oh, it looks cool. Oh, that is really cool. So, let's pop around here. It's got some sort of uh, main plaza. So, he's exploiting four food, three industry, three money, three science, two stability, three influence. So, do I get three influence each turn? And my district fortification is 20. I remember it used to be 10. Before it was not solid, and this uh, border here, this purple border, is now solid where it was not solid before. But I can go up and down. Let's go. Oh, one. That's not what I meant to do. Me. Who? So this purple thing, where I'm right here... Oh, what's that? An, an elephant or a blue mammoth? So I thought when I went into his territory, they would tell me all about him, but uh, apparently not. So, what does this say? City cap. You can draw one of two possible cities. What that means... 
opens a list of all my cities and outposts. All military forces. Here we go. These guys are exhausted. And I made a move on the river and then off the river. Because I thought they were going to go right up here. But they went here and then here. Yeah, whatever. So let's click on these guys. And they're right in my town. So I'm going to go look for different territories. So it looks like there's a territory down here where this woolly mammoth is, and then there's another one off to the west. So I'm going to have this guy go off to the west. See what's in this territory here. Although, there's also this territory here. Oh, here we go. Zhao and unknown. Okay, so that's helpful. So I can go, so there's this territory here, and then this territory here. So I'm going to go directly west, and then this guy, I'm going to pop down here to go southwest, and then I'll worry about the woolly mammoth later. Okay. So I want this guy to go whatever's easiest. I want him to go here. Yes. Do we see? We see stuff. There's a strategic resource. So I think it would be nice to have that territory. And then this guy. Come over here. Now I'm in this territory. So I think this guy up north. Stop with stop. 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 Stop following me around. So I think this guy is going to head down here. Oh, that looks like... No, I can't do it. But the, the guy who's up north is going to head kind of south. Maybe south-southwest. So I'm going to I'm going to take this guy and have him head pretty much directly south. One. Follow me. Two. Off we go. So I want to get on one of these rivers and follow it up because I think supposedly you can go faster on those. I don't want to follow this river. I want to follow this river here. So I'm going to get on this river. Nice. So I think I can just follow that guy way down south, see what's going on. Oh, that takes me out of this territory here. Okay, so who's next? This guy is next. He has... Okay, so nobody has any points left. And... Okay, so turn it off. I think I can do anything here, but I don't know. Okay, so he's got zero. 15 defense, that was 20. Liberate. Yeah, no thanks. That is not going to happen. Okay, so he's going to give me... Uh, yeah, I guess the 5 goes with the food, not the food industry. Free science. Okay, here we go. So now I can start working on one of these guys, I believe, right? Calendar, domestication. Okay, so uh, if you look at my plan, my tech was just buy whatever's cheapest. That way I can do the most number of techs. Uh, I think obviously if I was playing for real, I probably wouldn't do that. Okay, city defense. Once I get that, then I can build a garrison. Or do, do a garrison? Or build a palisade? Or train some warriors? Okay, so it looks like it takes 13 science, and I have used 
I have four turns left. So I'm getting three science per, yeah, that's right, I'm getting three science per turn. That one means, but okay. Five. I'm getting five influence per turn for some reason. Maybe because I have a city, I'm getting no money. Wait. Oh, oh, I've, I have five fame and I'm getting three per turn. I have zero money, I'm getting three per turn. And I have zero horses and zero cop. Bronze working in domestication. I ignored domestication to work on city defense because I'm a genius. Yikes. A lot of stuff in here. I don't want to spend a lot of time looking through it. I want to just play the dang game. Okay. Let's see. Let's just do this. One, zero. That's level one. Two, three, level four. Five, six, seven. So at level seven, it turns into a topographic map. Map. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So twelve, thirteen. So thirteen, you get the uh, territory lists. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 20. What have? What is this? So I don't know what I'm doing, but what I'm going to do is uh, go to the next turn and buy food as the city's, uh, surplus, the city's population is going to increase. Uh, so when do I get an increase? Gaining one population every six turns, okay? Uh, science, I was making three per turn. Yeah, three per turn. Guess that's good. Money, I'm getting three per turn. Industry, I've got 12 industries. Okay, the construction key. Stability looks good. My food is six. So I wish I could construct something. I can do that. Construction. Okay, so I can construct a confusion school, a farmer's quarter, a maker's quarter, a pottery workshop. But I think I decided before I started playing this game that. If I have a specialized district, I'm going to build it. So, I think this is the special district. Okay, so I click on this guy. And it tells me where I can place it. Okay, so it can't be done outside of the territory with the city. It can't be done on this type of tile. Okay, so it's got, uh, here we go. So there's four possible places. And uh, let's see, this one does this, this one does this, this one does this, this one does this, so. So plus six, plus 10, minus one, plus one, plus 10, minus one, plus three, plus 10, minus one, plus Plus eight, plus ten. Okay, so this seems like the place to go. And why is that? I don't know. I'm gonna take it. All right. So I'm, I've got twelve industry outputs per turn, and it looks like it's gonna take five turns to build this. So that's what sixty to build a confusion school, apparently. Plus fifty. Okay. Yeah, four, 48, and then two, okay? So I think I'm good. So I'm building my, uh, so I got a random culture, the Zhao. 
I don't know what I'm doing on civics tech. I'm building the cheapest. I'm building a district. And I just ran. I picked. Uh, it gave me four options. I picked the one that looked the best. Um, era stars. I don't know that I'm getting any era stars. My avatar is dead sexy. I haven't had any battles. And the pace, I don't think I changed that. So whatever. Okay, so I think I'm done. What does this say? Any gap. It needs to get rid of that. These guys have all moved, so let me end the turn. Okay, so now I'm on the next turn. Okay, so I want to take this guy and run him south south west. Whoops, and then this guy I want to run him around this mountain here. I've been running way. him up and down this river. One, two, three, four. So I should be able to do this. Come over here. Okay, so on the mountain seems to work out pretty... Uh, on the river seems to work out pretty well, so he's exhausted. Um, pretty cool canyon in there. That looks neat. I gotta say this map, the un unexplored parts of the map look weird because it looks like it just drops off into the abyss here. Uh, when I think this is supposed to represent fog of war, uh, I think most most games do it with a little cloud here. This does it with dropping off into the end of the world. So now I'm in. Okay, so I don't think I want to go any further south because I don't really care about districts that are not adjacent to my district. So that would be. Okay, there's this district that I don't know anything about. So I'm, I want to head off. I want to head somebody off to the east or west, coming here to the Bar Barasian Mountains. See if I can figure out what's going on with that particular territory, which I know where that territory ends because I can see the blue land. So there's this kind of snaky little territory here that's adjacent to mine. There's this territory up here that's adjacent to mine. There's this territory down here. And then finally this territory here, so I'm going to do the easy thing first and just go as far west as I can. This guy. Kind of see the boundary of that one, uh, that territory. Now this territory up here, out in the river, that's adjacent to my territory, I haven't explored. So I probably should send a guy up there just to see what the deal is. Kind of explored this territory here, but I'm worried about this territory out in the uh, unexplored ocean, uh, just to the north west of these mountains here. Uh, I just I want to know what territories I have adjacent to my my territory and I'm not super worried about territories that are adjacent to territories that are adjacent to my territory that are not adjacent to my territory this looks like incense I thought it was a woolly mammoth poop or something okay so I moved him this guy I need to move him I want to see what's going on on this adjacent to my territory, so I want to head here. Come over here. Okay, that took all my points to get on this uh, river. Okay, so it's not exactly what I had in mind. I should have gone up here. Okay, so uh, pay attention to rivers is the uh, is the lesson that we've learned there. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so everybody's moved. City Jing is building a unique district and it's cranking out some stuff. What is it cranking out, you ask? It is cranking out, doesn't say. Oh, 
Yeah, I've got three. It's cranking out three influence and a territory. So at some point, I'm going to want to probably try to do another territory. So I think if I get 300 influence, I get one star. And then 100 fame for that star. Uh, 150 fame for that star. But if I get third territory, second and a third territory, I'll get a expansion of star and get 100 fame for that star. Okay, so fame. So this is a fame-based culture. Deeds, show cultures. Look, seven stars. Six. Ooh, wait. Have Twelve pops. So I've got three population. Um, so you get. It looks like you get more population in the Neolithic era by uh, ransacking places and maybe defeating animals. So definitely should have spent a lot of more time in the Neolithic era. Getting more population. All right, definitely. Right, that's that's my current thought. Let me go back to the Neolithic era. Okay. Uh, let's see. Two. That's my next one. Three. Okay, I'm working on that. Got three more turns on that. And uh, what else did they say? Mouse and keyboard. Alt 3 is the technology panel. So 4 and 5. There's nothing there because I haven't earned that. So Alt 3, Alt 4. Okay. Uh, let's see. 1, zoom. 1, 2, 3, Alt 3. the whole deal and all three is the summary and I, this looks like it's glowing so maybe I should end my turn here because okay, so now I have 11 stars rapid and oh, dangerous oh, oh, the Hittites. Hittites get ready to hear the sound of chariots when you least expect it okay so I think I found who these guys are territory snooping around and they jumped on me with scouts. Right, so we're evenly defended. Uh, there's going to be, there might be a battle. He's attacking me. No reinforcements, no, no support. battle my plan was uh, auto resolve the battles it's got an asterisk what I meant by that was one battle per turn one battle per turn I'll fight man so the first one I'll do man just see what's what why did it it's a waiting for you so which one has the most This way. So this, I think if you're on a river, you have some defensive ability. Wait, I'm crossing the river or they're crossing the river? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm trespassing. Of 
deployment. Uh, in deployment. Uh, what's going on here? Sounds like they're attacking me. Something. Can't tell what. Here we go. I lost 16. And then. He's way down to 42. It's, but he gets. I'm not doing that. He gets 20 health regeneration every turn. I don't get any health regeneration. It sounds like I'm going to lose here. Okay, so if I attack, what happens? So I've got 14 strength. He's got 13. for some reason. Victory. Okay, so I gained no spoils. I lost 14% of my strength and 67% of my health. He lost everything. Help me make this world a better place for all our peoples. Or you could die. That would be another thing. That would be another thing. So I'm at peace with the Hittites. I can't declare war, but I can declare surprise war. I've got medium war support. They've got medium war support. They're militarists. So their default war support is 50. I've got a grievance and I made a victory, but I think I'll just get out of here and pop over to this un un unclaimed territory. Maybe just hang around there and see if they show up in there. I don't want to claim it because then I've got a border with the Hittites. I just assume there'd be a neutral zone there. I'm not sure what's going on here. Victory. New grievance. And what is my grievance? I agree. Oh, they attack me. So my demands are. I don't want reparations. I just want you to die. Okay, so I'm not sure how I got to this screen, but I did. Did I, oh, did I click I clicked on something? I clicked on this, okay? Okay, so things are going super well for me. I was wandering around Hittite territory trying to see what was going on. I thought I would make contact with them, but they attacked me. So I just kind of hung around and they, so, and they, uh, they lost that battle. Their guy was already like 25% uh, wasted. So I'm going to get out of here, get out of their territory. So I would like to go this way. Let's go. And see what the deal is there. Keep an eye on all these things. Uh, now, how do I regenerate? heal in this territory okay so I probably should head home which is here I can't can't go over these mountains so I need to go to here or up here I think normally I would go up north but 
that's farther away from the Hittites. I think if the Hittites are going to be bonking around, I want to be kind of where, I think they're going to be coming from this uh, south, what's directly south of Haiyang. So I think I'm going to head over to here. Oh, those rivers are slowing me down. Okay, so that would be two turns. This is three turns. I think I will head up here. I'm on it. Okay, so I did get to see what was going on in this little area here. I'm out of your territory. Stop bothering me. Now here's this guy. Ooh, there's more Hittites. Um... This territory, I probably should check out this territory because it's next to mine and next to the Hittites. So I want to keep that blank. So I would like to build in this territory here, south southwest of us, and then this territory here, which is west of us, or maybe the territory that's directly north of us, and keep these two territories as buffer states, buffer territories. So so I want to explore the rest of this. So let me look at this guy first and see what he can do. So I'm gonna send him here. What is this? Discoveries. Discoveries, that sounds good. Go back here. Go back here. Wait, what happened to my discovery? Bad my discovery. Off we go. There he is. So I kind of want to pop up here and get the lights out of my. Well, I can head over here and maybe get on this river. Okay, that's one. Leave the river. Come here. Yeah, so that territory is nice. It follows this cliff. So I'm saying, you know what? Not get on your territory. In fact, if I get on here, I can kind of move over there. If I get on this river, I'm going to go right here. Uh-uh. Understood. Not in your territory? Don't be yakking at me. He's got somebody over here. So that's that guy. Okay, so I moved all my guys. Got 11 fame, $6, and I'm building something or other. Uh, on my uh, diplomatic, or on my uh, fusion school. Three more turns. Single turn. Ooh, who's this? Hey! Hey, what are you guys doing? What are you doing? Whoa, that's pretty darn exciting here. Okay, so I probably should have killed these in the Neolithic era, but I didn't, so I don't know what to do. But I am going to see what's going on here. I'm going to leave these guys alone. I don't think they can get up here. I think if they want to attack uphill, I'm fine with that. So I'm assuming they're not going to come back, have somebody come back on the other side of me and trap me both ways. So if I give up this, if I kind of retreat into my territory, let me take care of my one guy here, this guy. And Over there, this way. and now I can heal, right? Twenty percent regeneration from so okay, because I'm in my own territory. So I'm just gonna sit here uh, until I heal. Okay, 
So right now I'm healing. Okay, so I'm guessing that the little gray thing is how much I'm going to get back. So I'm at 33. So I should be at 53 uh, next turn. So we'll stay here. Okay, next turn. Now this guy, I don't want to attack him. And the best he could do is get over to here because I think once he hits that river, he has to stop. Right? If he tries to come at me here, I think I'm just going to dig in. Can I dig in? In territory? this guy yeah I, okay I guess not so I'm going to just sit here for now keeping an eye this guy the whole point was to go here and see whatever the heck this is uh -huh. oh I must have found some Science and that turned into city defense research. Okay, so now I, I'm unlocking the garrison, the palisades, and the warriors. So if I want to get in a fight with uh, the Harappans, I probably should crank out a couple of warriors. These are 19, and my regular guys were. What were my regular guys? Okay, so now I have to. Do whatever's cheapest so I've got to actually have to make a choice here carpentry domestication and calendar or bronze working bronze working allows me to build a watchtower a forge and spearmen but in any case I'm doing the cheapest thing So both calendar and domestication go into irrigation. So do I, do I need both of them? Or just one of them? Domestication gives me scout riders, animal barns, and horses. But I have to I have to have horses. This gives me granary. Oh, plus two. That looks good to me. So the only reason I'm thinking about this is because uh, I'm picking whatever the cheapest is. And I can build an artisan's quarter. And... Track luxury, that sounds good. So here is uh, clear forests. Lumberyard. Archers. So I'm going to go with calendar. So I couldn't really tell what was going on here because uh, I stopped here and then all of a sudden I got that pop-up notice that I unlocked a new... Okay, here we go. You found a curiosity. Eight... Oh, animal remains. Eight science and ten fame. Okay, that's what I found. And then I researched city defense. So he's got three more units left, uh, two more movements left. Why don't I claim, can I claim this territory? I think I want it. And I don't want, I think I've got, I think I can only build one of these confusion schools, which is next to a, uh, which it's a bonus if it's next to a, uh, Something gets a bonus if it's next to two, two cities, two uh, mountains. No mountains here. So why don't I claim this territory? Okay. Well, a valid tile. Okay, right click on a valid tile. Let me just see. Okay, so I want to be near these horses, I believe. Is. 
So this looks like a good spot here. I'm, I'm near a bunch of grain. Maybe this is a good one. I'm near a bunch of grain, a little bit of science, and some uh, industry. Grain, science, and industry. Well, this looks nice here. Ooh, what's going on here? Looks like there's another city over there. I do want to be near the science. I think that, and the horses, obviously. So I am going to build a outpost. Right here. I don't know why I picked that. I, well, I picked it because it's near the horse and the science. So, to the win is great, and everybody's happy. Maybe I can turn that into a city next time. Claims are fragile. Consider attaching the territory or evolving into a city. Okay, so I have to construct this outpost. It's going to take me four turns. Three more turns. Uh, and then maybe I can turn it into a city? I don't know. Should have done the tutorial. But I didn't because I'm so freaking smart. So what's next? Uh, four, zero, three. So this guy, and this guy, I'm holding. Interested in what's going on here. So I think I, oh, what, oh, 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 okay. For both of our aspirations. A most intriguing offer. I will kill you and drink your blood. So they want to. What do they want to do? Treaties. So they, this treaty is forbid new trade, reveal capital, close the borders, and tolerate skirmishes in neutral territory. That sounds, that sounds fine to me. I'm worried about these guys coming in and, and whacking me around uh, because I'm an aesthetic civilization. Now maybe maybe next time I'll randomly pick a military one. We'll go in there and uh, clean up this uh, garbage. So I think and that will improve the relationship somehow. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, I don't know what this means. How about if I say, I guess I can't do that. Whoa, what happened there? Accept, counter, and refuse. Uh, Offer to accept the other Emperor's position in exchange for three gold. I don't need three gold. Empires can only create luxury resources. And it says forbid. Oh, okay, so already we can do luxury, but we can't do anything new. Wait. Are they, are they doing all. Does, does this treaty have all four of these things, or just the new trade thing? So, blue, blue crisis. Okay, so the counter proposal is, yeah, I'll agree to this. You give me three, three gold. I don't need three gold. I will just accept. Of this course, treatment. we accept. Truly, I have not felt this good in a long time. Soon you shall be dead. So, uh... Okay, so trading luxuries. Capitals are revealed, borders are closed, and we can tolerate skirmishes. So at some point I can come in here and propose some changes to this. Sure, whatever. So I gotta stay out of their borders. They can stay out of mine. Okay, so here's the uh, the border. Here is now this uh, um, non-solid dashed line. 
because I think it's I think it's because this is still a uh, outpost instead of a city. So we'll wait three turns and then turn them into a city, maybe. I don't know how much that costs. Uh, and then I would like to turn this area here into a city, and then we'd have the neutral area between us and the. Hittites. So my war support is big, their war support is small. Okay, so I don't think I have anything left to do here. I would like to zoom in on this and make sure they keep their knitting. Where did they go? Are they attacking me? Oh, they're. Yeah, go ahead and attack me. Are they attacking me? Open the battle. Okay. I guess we're both in neutral territory. Okay, so I did one manually. I said I was going to instant resolve all the rest of them, so I'll go ahead and do that. Or retreat. hurting. Battle at a Yardway. The population's war support increased by 8. That's good. And they attacked me. So I gained 10 gold. That's not too bad. They, they lost their whole unit. So they've lost two whole units to me. Map. Which is good because those cost something to make. Uh, so there might, he might have a unit roaming around here. I don't know. I think I'm going to take my guy with the four and move him back here. So this is one. Right? Right. And this would be two. Over this way. This would be another three. And then this would be one more. So he should get three back. The other guy, we, this guy here, we said he's supposed to be 53. He is 53, okay? So do I want him there? I think I want him there in case the Hittites are going up north. Now, if I find a Hittite running around down here, I'm going to bring this army in in my territory down here, so the, so that he can be in my territory and regenerate, but still be in a defensive against the Hittites. Okay, so uh, let's see units. So this guy moved. This is the guy I want to worry about. He's, I thought he was building a, a uh, outpost. Okay, so there's lots of cliffs there. I can't get around those cliffs. So I think I want to go south. One. Off Ooh. we go. What is the sanctuary? I think I can pillage those sanctuaries, can I? So this is the best I can do. Acknowledge. Here we go. So I'm kind of heading over here. Wait, who's that? Okay, that's this guy. Okay. 
And this is, what is that? Discoveries. Okay, so I'll make a discovery there. And hopefully it looks, well, I don't know what that is. Okay, so I think things are progressing. Uh, let's see. So let me look at my, oh, hey, there's a mammoth on top of my border here. Guess we'll find out if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, uh, Confucian School once per territory. So the next territory I probably want to have mountains in it so that I can build another Confucian school. I thought it was once per civilization. Okay, so I need, actually I need these guys to come down here so that they can start defending or maybe taking off these. Oh, there's a sanctuary here. Why don't I hop into here? Maybe I can fill it. Ransack. Ransack here. No fear! No fear. What did I get? What did I get? spend a turn I might get 10 gold okay that is, or I could leave I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the turn he's sitting here he's sitting here I think I've done everything I can do so I'm gonna go to a city means shelter for those who need it a place to store food pens for the pigs it may not be glorious but it beats sleeping under trees Sit here, gain my points back, unless he attacks me. Yeah, maybe I'll back off, off we one go. spot. Okay. So this guy. I want him there so I got eyes on the Hittites. Maybe I'll come in later and do something. This guy, I want to pop over to here. down by the river but then hopefully it'll speed me up later so zero left one left four left yeah so I don't see any hittites down here Ooh, what the hell is this oh, this is a another you seek uh what claimed okay you can have that i don't care uh renounce to create a demand from this grievance Trade between our empires will be suspended. There is no trade between our empires, except for luxury goods, and I don't have any luxury goods. And our borders are closed. Renounce to create a demand. Territory on our border. Okay, yeah. Let 
I don't know what these two things do. Demand. So that's the status quo right now. Or renounce. Or if I do nothing, I think the grievance expires. Renounce to create a demand from this grievance. Renounce. We denounce? I have no idea what the hell's going on here. I'm gonna ignore you. Empires between grievances and the demands. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here, so I'm gonna get on it. Successfully plundered. I gained one. That's good. And I may ask for reparations. If I knew what I was doing, I would do that. to go away. What is it? I don't even know what that means. If you want an attack marker, show a heads up marker, I don't know. Then I will worry about things later. Calendar. Unlocks Granary and Artisan's Corner. Okay. So you know what? This looks like a good spot. Here's my... Uh, oh, so they took over that. I do have... The Hittites took over uh, a little bit this uh, territory just south. So we do have a one, one area where we're some contention. Of course, they could always take over a lot more. I think I would prefer to take over this territory here. I'm not sure what it's called, even though uh, it would greatly expand my order with the, with the Hittites, which I don't want to do. On the other hand, there's some mountains there that I could use to put my confusion quarter. I don't remember. So I think I put my city where there were two mountains and the confusion quarter where there's only one mountain. So who knows what I'm doing? Uh, okay, so I'm going to name this territory up here and then that territory up there. That should be three territories. And then in the meantime. Influence, I've got 20. Uh, okay, so I'll probably decide what I need to do next. So here's two turns, two turns. Cat riders, I don't need those. Animal barns, food, horses, 
archers. Be nice to have some ranged units and extra industry on forests and woodland. So do I have any forests and woodland around here? Here's this is forest and woodland, right? Woodland. So all of this stuff here would get more industry. I don't know if that helps me any. Yeah, so let's go ahead and build. There we go. Let's go ahead and build a carpenter. Okay. And then let's go ahead and uh, save this thing. We'll save it in the cloud just to be into the name of your save. Zow, let me hang on a sec. Save. Yeah, save on cloud. Zow, turn 14. There we go. And I will go ahead and uh, end the stream. I had a good time, and uh, I think I did okay on this. And uh, I'm fairly happy with the UI. There was nothing that I couldn't figure out how to do. Again, should have used, should have gone through the tutorial. But sitting through some of those uh, YouTube videos, I think, was uh, quite helpful.